We're back as promised at 648, 59 degrees on this beautiful Friday morning. Going to be a nice day. A little clouds, but uh, no rain in sight as far as I know. Mm -hmm. And we are back with our very special guest, Judy Stokes. We're glad to have you with us today. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. First time you've been on the show and uh, something new that uh, we want to learn about today, and that's BYOB. A lot of people <laughs> says, you know, the weekend's coming, BYOB. You know what that means. Bring your own bottle. That's not it. That's not, no, it's totally different. What is BYOB, Judy? Well, the BYOB that we're talking about is Be Your Own Boss. Be Your it, Own Boss. Be Your Own Boss. I and love it that. is an expo. And it's designed for small business owners that have businesses that they want to market and showcase. And then it's also designed for people that are looking for opportunities. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. if you have a desire to work at home and, uh -huh. you know, you don't know what's out there, this is an opportunity for you to come and, you know, see firsthand legitimate opportunities. Okay. Uh, what prompted, now you're the owner of BYOB. I am. What uh -huh. prompted you to, to do this? Well... I found myself laid off. Well, like so many people in this <laughs> A lot of people in this economy. Yeah, a, a little over a year ago, and I had a home business, a little small business, and I thought, you know, I want to take that and grow it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to work for myself. So I asked my husband, I said, will you, you know, let me take this and see what I can do with it. So I started calling around and checking on, you know, expos, and they were so expensive. I was like, how mm -hmm. can the small business mm -hmm. guy compete mm -hmm. with these big guys? So I thought I'm going to put one together for the small guys. Yeah. And that's how the BYOB, <laughs> you know, was launched. Yeah. Now, is this your first uh, expo or have you had no. others in the area? This is actually my second one. Well, okay. So you've so. had a, an opportunity to, yes. to learn and so mm -hmm. this is going to be bigger and better. Tell, yeah. us, <laughs> <laughs> tell us about uh, what we can expect to find at the expo. Well, you will find um, a lot of small business people that have uh, joined. Uh, one of them you're going to have on in a little bit, the Zapata mm -hmm. Jewelry. Yeah. You okay. can find some jewelry. You can find Dove Chocolate. You can find, you know, well, it's, I'm going. weren't we just talking about chocolates <laughs> just a little bit ago? <laughs> yeah, it's a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you'll find, you know, like 31 gifts and mm -hmm. send out cards. And we just have a whole slew of different vendors. Uh-huh. And, and they'll be great. Where do they come from? They well, do? they come from everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> they come, uh, some of them's in this area. Of course, some of them's from Knoxville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I have... Um, you know, some of them are from out of state, you know, like really? California. Uh -huh. They'll oh, come wow. from everywhere. We have an Annie Art, uh -huh. which is a new one. And they'll be just, it's anybody that wants to grow their business. Uh -huh. That is incredible. So what kind of things, they're, they're interested in growing their business, and so mm -hmm. they go to the expo. What kind of uh, tools or things will they find there to help them grow their okay. business? Okay. Uh, the Tennessee Small Business Development Center. Yeah. They sponsored this event. Okay. I took it to them and they were on board. You know, they're yeah. all about the small business. Sure. And um, they'll find some literature there that can help them if they need to, uh, you know, work up a business plan, apply mm -hmm. for a small business oh, loan. that's great They assets. can find all kinds of stuff like yeah. that. Oh, that is great. Uh, what kind of uh, response are you finding from the small business community, Judy? Well, it's a, been a, it's been a little bit of a struggle down here because I'm from Knoxville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not knowing anybody. And then so it's been, you know, the well, small business. Well, you do now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, now, now it's going to be great. <laughs> well, we hope. <laughs> Today's just made it a whole lot better. <laughs> just getting the word out and, mm -hmm. you know, running it on, of course, TV and, mm -hmm. you know, in the paper and doing a chamber event. Sure. So. You know, it's mm -hmm. just, I think it's going to be good. Well, mm -hmm. good. Uh, where will the expo be? It's going to be in the Bradley Square Mall. Great. Oh, wow. uh -huh. Good and location. Yeah, and we're actually going to be set up in the mall, in the common area. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and is. we're going to start right inside the mall door at the, around the fountain. Okay. Oh, wow. I know exactly where it is, right outside of Hickson's. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, Men's store. Hickson's and Belk and right. where Santa Claus always is. Santa Claus Christmas. is always Well, there. Santa Claus will be there. You can win, pre will. you know. <laughs> you'll feel like Santa Claus is there. <laughs> but all of them have, you know, there'll be gifts you can register for. And, you know, it'll be a fun time. Samples and yeah. stuff. Oh, so. free samples. Yeah. Dove mm -hmm. chocolate? Dove chocolate. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I was getting ready. That'll probably be the busy table. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a one-track mind here when it comes to chocolate. Uh, so is that, uh, what's the date of the? The date is Saturday the 17th. That's next Saturday. Next, a week okay. from tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And at the Bradley Square Mall. What time of day? It's going to run from 11 to 5. 11 to 5, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, it sounds like 
uh, whether you're a small business person or not, it sounds like a fun event to attend. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it, the services they offer, mm -hmm. you don't have to be, you know, looking for a business. Maybe you're just looking for an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe you like jewelry. This is some of the jewelry that... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Michelle will be there. I, yeah, I will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, the product they offer, you know, you may want to just come out and support them. So come out right. and support them and shop. Yeah, so you will have an opportunity to actually buy while you're That's there right. at uh -huh. the booth. Mm -hmm. That's great. There you go. I'm excited. <laughs> now, is there any cost to get into the event? No, the event is actually free. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's great. And we still have room for vendors. Mm -hmm. So if there anybody, you know, is interested in being a vendor, they can actually go to a website, mm -hmm. which is, you know, guess. Mm -hmm. www.byobexpo.net. Oh, <laughs> that's easy enough. BYOB. Expo, EXPO uh -huh. dot, uh -huh. net. Uh -huh. dot net, and, and you'll find all the information right there on the website. Uh -huh. That is easy enough, and there's other uh, contact information should they need it. That's right. What about uh, if they wanted to sign up and be a vendor? Can they do that online? They can do it. There is a contact information form, but, you know, they do need to do that pretty quick. Okay. Because I have got to get that information, yeah. you know, to the mall yeah. probably by next Thursday. As they say, space is limited. Yes. So okay. you have to get it yeah, in. Yeah, but we've got it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm interested, too, uh, your situation, you were, uh, I won't say forced into this, but it's something you chose after you, after your fortunes changed and you were laid off. Are you finding that more and more because of the economy, people are turning to entrepreneurial efforts to try to better their own situation? What, tell us some of the stories. Out well, there. Well, yeah, they have to. I was working in construction. Mm -hmm. You know, I worked in a corporate office, and everybody knows construction is, you know, just about gone. gone right. south. It's going south. I noticed a lot right. of construction down here. It's moving. Forward. We are <laughs> blessed. We are very yeah. blessed. In yes, Bradley you County. are. I mean, I've noticed that. But I, after working 13 years, you know, mm -hmm. and I found myself laid off. But I've always had a desire to you know, be my own boss and to do my own thing. So I always had my hand in something. Mm -hmm. I called it my plan B. Plan B. So I decided yeah. to let my plan B become my plan A. Mm -hmm. There and you go. Everybody needs a plan B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do need to have you know. some kind of backup plan in, in this economy uh, because it's changing daily, it seems like. Mm -hmm. It's it like is. an insurance policy. Yeah. You know, that That's way if you find way yourself it. laid off mm -hmm. and it's like you don't have to be devastated because you've got a little bit of something yeah. something to do mm -hmm. and everybody well, needs a plan b yeah for those out there who may be watching and saying i'm uh, i'm thinking about doing that what are some of the pieces of advice or landmines they should watch out for as they head toward doing byob okay well <laughs> the thing i tell them to look for there's so many opportunities out there and the ones that we're going to showcase they're legitimate mm -hmm. but when you're looking for something it's got to be something that you enjoy doing something that you know you know don't go on somebody saying, oh, you'd be good at this. It's like trying to find a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, they may not fit. Just because they're beautiful, if they don't fit, what good are they? Yeah. You've got to find something that's a good fit. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and it's something you'll enjoy doing, and you can see yourself doing it day after day after day. Yeah. We see so many, I'm sure you've seen these, Michelle, so mm -hmm. many uh, advertisements, uh, especially in the newspaper and the one mm -hmm. ads, you know, be your own boss, mm -hmm. start your home business, mm -hmm. stuff envelopes and make $1,500 a month. I mean, there's so many things out there, I won't say scams, <laughs> but it seems like it's just, if it's too good to be true, should it, you watch out for it? Yeah, these are no get rich quick, yeah. you know, it's, and you do have to work. When you're working for yourself and you decide to be an entrepreneur, you're going to work. Yeah. You're not mm -hmm. going to get rich quick. Right. But the money can be made, mm -hmm. you know, but it's, it takes dedication, determination, getting up, doing the same thing, you know, repetitiveness. But you are building your dream mm -hmm. versus right. building somebody else's dream. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still so. have to, quote, punch the clock every day mm -hmm. in order to realize your dream. you got to work. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're just working for a different boss. Yeah, I kind of like my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best one you've ever had. I imagine. Let Judy. me do what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pretty good boss. That's let's a do great it. boss. That's great. That is neat. I well, uh, what are your what are your long term goals for this BYOB? Well, I want to take it to other areas. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the Tennessee Small Business. When I took it to them. Uh, the director there said that he would like to see me take it to other areas because they have like 13 locations and it's mm -hmm. kind of to work alongside and let people know that are actually looking for opportunities, you know, mm -hmm. it's just another avenue for them. Mm -hmm. 
because, you know, people don't know what's out there. And mm -hmm. like you said, there are a lot of things out there that, you know, they sound too good to be true, uh -huh. you know, and oh, they yeah. are. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they really you know, are. You're not going to make $1,500 stuffing envelopes, you know. No, you're, you're really <laughs> not. You know, that's, there are a lot of people who look for the easy way out. You're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. And if you could stuff that many envelopes, you know, you might as well be working hard somewhere else. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's hard work. That is hard work. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hard work. And the paper cuts. You know, no, I know. <laughs> That'd be the hard thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're excited about this excited. coming to uh, Cleveland and Bradley County, and it's coming up on Saturday the 17th. The 17th, next Saturday. That is a week from tomorrow, folks, so uh, check that out. A uh, week from tomorrow, the BYOB Business Expo. Is that, did I say that right? That's exactly right. Okay. And if you want to know more about it, BYOB EXPO, BYOB Expo dot net. They've got a website, and um, if you want to contact Judy, you can do that through the website. Correct. Yeah, and also I have a phone number listed okay, that you they can you dial. Give that? 865 368 1095. All right. And uh, mark that down. And if you want to go and just visit and shop and see some of the jewelry uh, that, well, a lot of things there, other things that, other uh -huh. than jewelry, right? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, we're going to see some of the jewelry coming up with our next guest, Mary Lou. But uh, check it out. It's coming up a week from tomorrow uh, at the Bradley Square Mall, 11 to 5 p.m. That's right. Judy, thanks so much for well, getting up early. Well, thank you for early. having me. You got up early yeah. and came in here to tell us all about the expo. We do appreciate that. Well, I appreciate yeah. the opportunity, and thank you. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. We'll do our <laughs> I'm best. I'm excited. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Got to take a break. It's 7 o'clock and 59 degrees. Back in just a moment, and we'll find out what Silpata is. Please stay with us. Kathy Guy with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. Call us today for all your personal insurance needs. With 28 years in the insurance business, I have the solutions and pricing you are looking for. At Landmark Insurance Brokerage, we've got you covered. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring. A beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango. Redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. I'm Dr. James Markham, host of the television program Heart of Health, seen right here on WTNB Television. Thursday at 7 o'clock, Friday at 8 a.m. or Sunday at 3.30 p.m. How would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Do you want to own your own business? Have you dreamed of being your own boss? If so, you do not want to miss the Be Your Own Boss Expo coming to Bradley Square Mall in Cleveland, Tennessee on Saturday, September 17th. If you're interested in owning your own business or working from home, be sure you come out to this free Be Your Own Boss Expo. If you currently own a small business and want networking opportunities and want to display your products or services, there are still tables available. For more information or to reserve your table, visit byobexpo.net or call 865-368-1095.
7.03 your time. Thanks for watching us this morning on the Tennessee Valley this morning on a beautiful Friday. It's 59 degrees. Let's take a look at your headlines. The large two-story columns holding up the front of the Bradley County Courthouse are in need of repair. The concrete is deteriorating and bid estimates show fixing them all at once will save the county about $30,000 overall. Total cost is about sixty-two grand. 28-year-old Jerry Ray Tyler Jr. has been arrested by the Bradley County Sheriff's Office on charges of possession and distribution of child pornography. The arrest was, uh, investigation rather, was led by the Internet Crimes Against Children Unit at the Sheriff's Department. Tyler has been set at $30,000, $300,000 for his bond. Waterville Elementary School holding a special ceremony at 8 o'clock, 8.30 actually this morning. They're going to serve them breakfast at 8. Uh, for the emergency, local emergency responders, these are emergency service personnel will be recognized for their daily service to our community. That's at uh, 8.30 this morning at Waterville School. Lee University welcomes three new faculty members to its School of Music. One of them a familiar name, Robert Bernhardt, who served 19 years as music director and conductor of the Chattanooga Symphony. He is now uh, the, uh, one of the School of Music artists in residence at Lee University. Bradley County has a new county attorney. Crystal Freiberg recently replaced Joe Bird, who resigned to resume a pastoral ministry in Orlando. Freiberg has served in the past six years as assistant city attorney in Chattanooga. And that's your headline news. Your forecast not looking too bad today. Mostly cloudy, but cool temperatures, pleasant 78 degrees for a high tomorrow. Sunshine, get out on the water, enjoy the weekend while you can because it'll be cold and rainy and snowy. Who knows what all it'll be, but right now tomorrow it's going to be 83 degrees, 84 on Sunday. Overnight lows, good sleeping weather. Look at that in the mid-50s. Right now it is 59 degrees. Again, I want to wish a happy birthday to Mr. Fred Garman at the People for Care and Learning, a mission organization here in Bradley County. Yesterday, Christy Griffith at the Bank of Cleveland had a birthday, and Dan, former Sheriff Dan Gilly had a birthday yesterday, and I missed it, so happy birthday to all of them. We're back, and we're talking about the BYOB Business Expo, mm -hmm. and we've got another guest with us. We do. We sure. have Mary Lou King, mm -hmm. and she is going to be one of the exhibitors at the, at the expo. Great. And uh, she's going to tell us about Zapata jewelry, and she gave me a sample. She let me look. Oh. So I'm wearing a little bling today. You are bling. So, it, but I am excited to hear about this. Well, we thank you for having us on. And every girl needs bling. I agree. Yeah, well, I agree. Really do. And guys need a little bling. Some too. guys yeah. like a little bling, some more than others. You know, I'm not the chain type, even though. I do have a chain here <laughs> that Judy gave me, and she said, here, put that on when you come back out of the news. And the reason why is because it matches my uh, my shirt. You see that? Uh, can you see that? That's pink. Mm -hmm. That's Isn't so that beautiful. Stout. That's pink, and you can't see it, but it's pink, and it matches my shirt. And she said, well, just put it on. So there you go. It looks very there nice on it. How, how do I look with bling? Awesome. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm curious. Silpata is that is that a uh, a brand or is that a Silpata chain? Silpata is a company. Company, okay. Yeah. Two women in Kansas City actually started the business. Kansas City. In their basement. I know all about Kansas City. Mm -hmm. In their basement. Mm -hmm. How neat. Kansas City is a, a town of great entrepreneurship. There's a so, like Garmin Electronics, the the Garmin mm -hmm. GPS things. Right. The headquarters it started in a garage. Oh, okay. Just a lot of things like that came out of Kansas City. So these ladies were inspired to go to work in their basement and start making jewelry. Who knew? Two stay-at-home moms that wanted a little extra spending money. Really? And yeah. now it's gone nationwide? It's in the UK, it's in Canada, and the United States. So it's gone international. Wow. Yes. That is incredible. So what, what makes it unique, uh, Mary Lou? Bonnie and Teresa design all of their own pieces. Mm -hmm. Um, it's basically a sterling silver company. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the real deal. Mm -hmm. There's no other metals or anything like that in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they need a little um, strength because copper or because silver is so light, they add a little copper to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like the piece you have, that's um, some soapstone. Mm -hmm. So they use semi-precious stones also. Now, when they make those, they cut them from big rocks. Mm -hmm. They just oh. don't take a, you know, a and added here. Yeah, so they actually so. cut them. Yep. Now, look at that 
that soapstone there, Michelle. That, that is, is beautiful. That is really neat. And you could wear that with so many different things. Um, so do they, they started in their basement to have, they grown to the point of having a uh, factory or? They have artisans now all over the world. Okay. Um, so they'll go out and they'll find um, extremely skilled, high quality craftsmen. Mm -hmm. And um, everything is done under Sulpata's specifications mm -hmm. and guidelines. Mm -hmm. So they'll go to Germany or wherever, find a you know factory, and mm -hmm. um, they make our pieces. Wow! And you s talked about semi-precious stones. Do they do anything with precious stones and precious metals like diamonds? And no diamonds. No diamonds. No okay. diamonds. Mm -hmm. One thing that amazed me um, in this piece when you when we put it on. It just amazed me. It looks so heavy, but it's so light. Um, mm. And jewelry, not Dan, I'm sure you wouldn't always understand this, but <laughs> jewelry that, you, you know, that looks like this can often be so heavy yeah. and so uncomfortable, especially earrings. Mm -hmm. um, and it just amazed me how light it is. That's because it's all silver. Mm -hmm. When you start putting really? the heavy metal and all the other lead and all that in there, yeah. mm -hmm. Yep, makes you, That's you know, because right. as we get older and the kids have tugged on our ears, mm -hmm. our, you know, holes get a little bigger, and you, I mean, it's just as light as could be. Yeah, oh. it's so comfortable. That's, and, I and know it some ladies that would just love this stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, send them to Bradley Mall. <laughs> I know, send them to Bradley's. I, I have a feeling, uh, well, if I wasn't going to be gone on a trip, I would be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard that you were taking a trip a week from Saturday, a week from Friday. Mm-hmm. Very special 20th occasion, 20 year occasion. We won't get into that, but you can guess. Uh, something to do with her husband. But <laughs> it's her anniversary. What can I say? Uh, Mary Lou, tell us about uh, the people who wear the Silpata designs. Is it for everybody? As you can see, basically anybody can wear it. Mm -hmm. um, it is the real deal, so you're not going to get the plated, the costume, the fashion jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, but, and it's got a price point for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, the stay-at-home moms that just want a simple little necklace. Mm -hmm. um, the gals out there in the office that want to put the bling on and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. really, you know, shine. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there's a little bit of jewelry for men. Mm -hmm. And we have come out with a little bit of line for, for children. Rings oh, yeah. for men, example? Is yes. that be an example mm -hmm. of what you've got? Now, uh, being a novice at the jewelry thing, I've, I've never... Well, this is the only pair of piece of jewelry I think I ever bought, except, of course, when I was married and bought a few things from my wife when she was alive. But uh, I don't know anything about jewelry. Would this be considered uh, above costume jewelry? Is this in the category as costume jewelry? Yes. How does it fall? Um, it is the highest quality of 0.925 sterling silver that's out there. Wow. So. Oh, I see. That is and of course, made out of silver, you know, it's 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 quality. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you've got such a variety. I'm looking at the that the necklace you have, and mm -hmm. that little uh, would that be called a brooch in the middle there? This is um, a slide or a pendant. Yeah, I love that. And you can put it on a chain, a leather. I mean, uh -huh. you can basically, now, you know. Now, is all of this, all of these pieces, handmade? Everything is handmade. Everything. Each wow. piece is actually. Um, touched between six and eight times wow. by a skilled artisan. Really? Mm -hmm. That is incredible. Yep. That's beautiful too. Everything is finished, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter if it's the ring, but everything is completely finished inside. All the way inside too. All some, the way inside. some aren't that I've no. seen. So that, that's a mark of quality mm -hmm. as well. All mm -hmm. of your soldering is done twice. Uh -huh. Once to make it hold, and then they do it again to keep it from picking your clothes or your mm -hmm. skin or mm -hmm. anything like that. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of time um, goes into the pieces yeah. of jewelry. Well, of course, you're going to be um, displaying at the expo coming up a week from Saturday. What was it that was appealing to you? What were you looking for at the time when you found Silpata jewelry as a small business person? Well, I was also a victim of the <laughs> economic times. So um, I was uh, laid off. I've been in the boating industry since yeah. the 80s yeah. and got laid off and um, wanted to do something and I um, decided, you know, I looked at a couple different um, mm -hmm. home-based businesses mm -hmm. and I didn't want to lug a lot of stuff or, you mm -hmm. know, so jewelry, you know, 
women love jewelry, so yeah. I said, well, let me look at some jewelry companies, and if I was going to do something, I wanted something I was comfortable wearing, comfortable selling, right. you know. Um, I wanted to do the best, so Zapata was there. How about how much time do you have to devote to your business in order to, you know, make a living at it? Well, as with any business, um, it's no different if you're going to a job, punching a time clock. Mm -hmm. You need to touch your business every day, mm -hmm. and it depends what you want to get out of it. Mm -hmm. We have some women that just want to do it for a few extra pennies. Mm -hmm. um, some want to pay for some college and mm -hmm. some want to make a career. So yeah. it just depends. Um, you get out what you put in. So. Yeah. Wow, it sounds great. I wish we had more time, but we have to take a break, uh, Mary Lou. But uh, we want people to go by and see your product there at the uh, Expo. Mm -hmm. Again, that's coming up on uh, Saturday. Yes. 11 to 5, Bradley Square Mall. And you can tell people if they're interested in opening their own business with uh, maybe a Silpata franchise. Is it a franchise or a No, business? no. It's just basically it's a home-based business. Home -based There's business. An, a, just an initial small fee to get started. It's $199 to wow. start your own business. Uh -huh. um, and I'll have all the literature. And, okay. Um, Stuff like that to Mary Lou can answer help all you questions. do that. It may be something that some of you uh, stay-at-home moms might be interested in to supplement mm -hmm. your income and stay at home with your kitties. Mm -hmm. So uh, find out all about it this sa this coming Saturday, a week from tomorrow, 17th of September, at the Bradley Square Mall, 11 to 5 p.m. Yes. And uh, Mary Lou will be there, right? Yes. You'll have a booth set up, so look for her. Come see me. And uh, don't forget to give those back, okay? I know. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> They're we'll awfully to, pretty. We'll <laughs> have to take a break. Rob and Ryan standing in the wings. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away.